Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to get a Minecraft sword as a cursor on your Windows 10 computer. So let's get to it. Alright, the first thing I want to do is head over to your browser and go ahead and hit the link in the description below and it will bring you to this page right here. The link is rw-designer.com and then if you go just type in rw-designer.com it will bring you to the software menu. Just go to gallery in the search bar, search Minecraft, and then scroll down to the one that says Minecraft and Diamond Edition. But if you hit the link in the description, it'll bring you right to this page, and you can skip this step. So, uh, go ahead and hit, click the little blue download button right here, and I'll go ahead and start your download. And it should take like, a few seconds. That's not that big of a file. You can see it's already done right there. Just click Show in Folder. It looks like I have two of these, so I'm just going to go ahead and delete one of them. There we go. Now I have one here. That's what it looked like right here. Now you can go ahead and close out your browser. And then you'll have this download right here. Now you need to go ahead and download WinRAR. It's pretty simple. Just go to WinRAR.com. And I'll have it linked in the description below to link to download it. And if you have a 32-bit, then download the 32-bit one. But if you have a 64-bit, then download the 64-bit one. Or if you may already have it on your computer. And if you do, then you can just skip that step and go ahead right into this next step. So you want to right-click the uh, download we just downloaded. And then you want to click the one that says Extract Files right here. And then you want to click... Uh, make sure you just basically put it where you want to put it. So I'm probably just going to leave it right where it is because that's good for me. So just click OK once you're finished putting it where you want it. Then it should a little window should pop up and it should go away. And then uh, you should get a folder. All right here's the folder. And you can see here's all the little icons that are going to kind of come up when you're basically for all alternatives for your normal mouse. Let's go ahead and close that out. Uh, now you want to go to your settings, and then you just want to type in mouse, and then you should see one that comes with mouse settings. Just click that. And then we'll go here to the right, right here, and you want to click additional mouse options. It should bring up a smaller window, not that big at all. And all you want to do, this is a bunch of, I don't know, button settings you can change about your uh, computer. But I want to go ahead, go ahead and go over here to pointers. And you should get. Uh, something that looks like this um, go ahead and just click this little scheme button right under scheme here and let's we'll click none and then and you can see these are all of what everything looks like or what it would look like um, with normal uh, normal uh, your normal mouse would look like these are all the things they would look like if they came up now uh, basically you want to find that folder with browse so click this so pick your normal select and then click browse and then you want to find the one you're looking for. And ours is in desktop. I think it was in the downloads folder. Give me a second, I'll find it. There it is. Now, right here, you so go ahead and open that up and then just click the one you want. Click open. And you can see now our cursor, that's what our cursor will look like instead of the one we have now. Now, just go ahead and go to the next one. Do the same thing. And then click the next one. You just keep going down and make sure it's the same name working in background click open or you can just double click it as well same thing with busy just keep keep scrolling down and do the one uh, every one of them there won't be one for every one of them there will be some at the bottom that uh, we actually this one doesn't have for it which one is this one oh the handwriting one uh, so yeah uh, some of those lines there's like two of them that you can't do but other than that there's basically one for every one of them. Let me finish. Oops, wrong one. Let me finish putting this in real quick here. And I think this is probably the last one, isn't it? Nope, two more. All right. And then you have the alternate, or alternate select, and then you have the the last one, which I think is really cool, the pickaxe for the link select, which you'll see that one a lot. Um, the pointer and the pickaxe is the one you'll see a lot, so I think it's pretty cool. Now, like I said, there's two of them. These are ones that you usually don't see that much, so and they're not. I don't think they really made anything for that because there's not really much they can make for that. So, and then once you're done, uh, you go ahead and you can enable pointer shadow if you want. You don't have to. Uh, just go ahead and then click apply and then once you're probably should see you can see my minecraft cursor there on the screen And then once you're done just click ok And as you can see I don't know if you saw there the little 
busy uh, diamond that was circling. So there's a lot of cool stuff with this. Um, like you see, my sometimes when I wait a second, I right click. You may see, I'm not sure, but uh, if I go over to a link, for instance, or something I can select, as you can see, like the little shovel for the link select, and then when I'm clicking something or running over, like actually a link, actually, so let me just go ahead. Let's go to the link we were a second ago. And you see, if I want to click something. You can see it, yeah, right there. See the pickaxe. I want to click the download button there. A little pickaxe comes up, and it's different things. So basically, it works exactly as a mouse would. It's just you have a Minecraft sort of what. So I think that that's pretty cool. Um, so hope this worked for you. If this doesn't work for you anyway, uh, it should work. But if it doesn't, just go ahead and comment down below what your problem is, and I'll try to help you out. Um, this is pretty straightforward. So like I said, you shouldn't really have any problems with it. So. Well, uh, yeah, make sure you guys uh, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. See you guys later.